You've done well to make it this far. I believe I owe you an explanation. The truth is, my husband's death was orchestrated by a group of our closest friends. Each one had a role to play that night. When Christo saw that no one was outside our home, he called Helen to give her the signal. Using Christo's key to the studio, Nicholas snuck into the basement and activated the machine while Elias was inside. Nicholas was shocked to find two statues emerge, believing he had killed me as well. But in reality, the statue of me was a surprise Elias had been working on in secret. Alexander had walked in on the murderers, sensing that something was wrong at the party. Instead of attempting to save Elias, the coward allowed Helen to silence him with bribes. I know all this because I had discovered my husband's death and hid behind the device when I heard them return. My grief quickly turned to rage. They would all suffer as Elias did. They robbed me of my life, so I returned the favor. They are now statues, exposed as the criminals they really are. Soon, Nicholas will join them. Now I must go. There is one last task for me to do.
And so, a murderous nightmare was finally brought to an end for the town of Partha. Nicholas was taken into custody and his accomplices exposed for their roles in the sculptor's death. For the first time in ages, the citizens of Partha are finally given a chance to recover and heal. The statue killer was revealed to be Maria, Elias' wife, who was presumed dead. Her plans were stopped at the last moment as she disappeared into the night. She has not been seen since. Though her actions were inexcusable, this reporter hopes that she has finally found the peace she deserves.